pasta is ready. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Positivity and Happiness. I hope you all are doing great. As you can see my friends, we are having a beautiful romantic candlelight dinner today. So in this vlog, I am going to show you how I have cooked all these food items and how I have arranged this romantic dinner. So please keep watching. To make today's yummy pasta dinner, these are the very basic ingredients that I am going to use today. So here are uh, yellow bell pepper, then green bell pepper and uh, cherry tomatoes and crushed garlic as well. And then tomato sauce, thousand island sauce and pesto sauce. And here is some pasta, very different kind of pasta for the first time I'm going to cook today. And here is chili flakes, oregano, must for any pasta dish and pepper and salt. And in my fridge, I already have some cheese. So we are going to use cheese as well. So yeah, these are the ingredients that I'm going to use to make today's delicious pasta. So for today's recipe, I'm using this pasta. See, uh, I have bought this pasta um, two days back. So let's see how it uh, comes out. So yes, water is boiling. And now I'm adding this pasta. So when my pasta is getting ready, I just want to quickly show you my balcony. This way I have decorated my balcony, a uh, very basic decoration. Uh, so after some time we are going to light up all the candles. It looks like so beautiful and feels awesome whenever you are having a special dinner sitting here in this balcony. Now looks like my pasta is fully boiled now. Now it's time to uh, turn off the heat and strain all the water. Be very careful whenever you are straining your water from your pasta because water is really very hot i already have one container and now i am pouring some cold water into my pasta so the cooking process gets stopped now let's start the cooking process so for that in the hot pan i have added two tablespoon of oil here i am using normal regular sunflower oil but definitely you can use butter or you can use olive oil and now I'm going to add some crushed garlic. Two cloves of garlic will be good enough. And this garlic actually always uh, gives so much of flavor in your pasta dish. So definitely it's a key ingredient of any kind of pasta preparation. Now I'm giving it a very good mix. And then I'm going to add all my vegetables here. Look at this. My vegetables are looking super colorful and so, so inviting especially the cherry tomatoes so red green and yellow all these colors are actually playing with each other so it looks awesome and now i'm going to add just a little amount of uh, salt not much So here after sauteing all the vegetables really well, now I am going to add my chicken pieces here. Here I am using chicken breasts, so these are so soft and tender and it doesn't take that much time to get cooked. So that's the reason I am always uh, using my chicken pieces after the vegetables. But definitely some people they prefer to add the chicken uh, before the vegetables, but that's up to them. Now after 5 minutes of cooking, my chicken and vegetables look like that. It looks gorgeous, super inviting and delicious. And I don't want to overcook my chicken and vegetables, so this is perfect. And now I'm going to add all the spice and sauce one by one. So firstly chili flakes, which is absolutely uh, important in your pasta dish. And then pesto sauce. I got this pesto sauce from Neto, which is a very famous Danish supermarket chain. And this is so flavorful, very colorful. It's so important in your pasta dish. I mean, I like to eat my pasta in this way. And then I'm going to add some Thousand Island dressing. Please let me know in the comment section, my friends, how many of you like adding Thousand Island in your pasta? 
because this is so flavorful and really good and creamy in texture and lastly i have added some tomato ketchup as well and now it's time to give it a very good mix and after 2 3 minutes of cooking i will cover the lid but before i didn't cover the lid otherwise your vegetable will lose the color and now i'm going to cover it for just 1 or 2 minutes and now we are in the final leg of our cooking process here i am adding my boiled pasta into this vegetable and chicken mixture now i am mixing it really well and look at this the color texture everything is just perfect just try this kind of pasta my friends i think you are going to like it because it's not like regular pasta it's little thick and that's why it's more tasty now in the final step i'm going to add some cheese on top here i just want to let you know that we are not a very big fan of cheese so i just don't want to add extra cheese in my pasta this is good enough i think and now lastly i'm going to add oregano flakes oregano flakes is like so important in your pasta dish the pasta is absolutely ready now look at the color texture everything so now i'll cover the lid and i'll let it rest for 5 minutes friends my cooking is done i already made my yummy pasta and i already took my shower i changed up and now i am bringing some nacho chips into my balcony table and i have set up my table in a very simple way i have put some candles here three candles and some tissue papers we are going to bring a wine bottle as well and then bikram is going to light up all the candles so this is the way we are going to celebrate this day super duper happy to welcome you in my balcony you have seen that we have set up this balcony in this way so nachos and cakes everything is ready little bit wine is also there so now i'm going to serve the pasta and we'll light up all the candles and then we'll enjoy a candlelight dinner so pasta is ready So yes, pasta is ready. Now Bikram is gonna light up the candle, and then we'll start our dinner. Yes, now one more candle and look at my tree here. Wow, it's looking so gorgeous. And this is the final look of my candlelight dinner. So here is some pasta and then nacho chips with two types of sauce. Some wine is there and few candles. And here in dessert, I have some chocolate brownie cake. So now we are going to talk we are going to enjoy this beautiful dinner along with this beautiful view. So please let me know in the comment section how many of you like this kind of amazing dinner session. Yes, cheers, cheers to life, cheers to happiness, cheers to positivity, cheers to our channel. So cheers to all of you and Yes, it looks yummy. Very Can't simple. Wait. <laughs> Can't wait to have it, right? And Bikram is really, very really hungry also. Pasta is my all-time favorite food. What about yours? I do like pasta. Mm -hmm. Bikram is also very huge fan of pasta but yeah he likes chowmin also noodles can't tell you how much beautiful it is outside
so that's all from today's vlog my friends i hope you have really enjoyed this beautiful candlelight dinner session i hope you have uh, really enjoyed all the arrangements that we have made to make this beautiful candlelight dinner even though we are in home but we can definitely make it special with just a little effort and that's life it's precious we definitely enjoy each and every moment of our life and lastly we are really happy very blessed to have you all in my channel please keep on sharing your love your blessings and your support with us and i'll see you guys super soon with a new vlog with a new video so tata bye bye